Hello everybody and welcome back to DRAF 007 Classic Gaming for another episode of our Top C64 Games, the best games of the Commodore 64 era. And today we bring you Micro Pro Soccer. <laughs> Um, published by Micropose in 1988, uh, the original version was delivered by Sensible Software, um, and it's the forerunner, I guess, to the Sensible Soccer series, which was so popular on the early uh, DOS and, uh, I suppose, um, PC era. This is the first game definitely that I fell in love with, guys. The first sporting soccer game that I fell in love with. What we're going to do today is take you through a bit of gameplay, take you through a World Cup tournament, and let's see if we can win the World Cup, um, which is what I used to do a lot as a young fella playing this game. Uh, if you haven't seen any of our videos before, guys, please check out the channel, um, and please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content and want to see more great uh, retro games from the Commodore 64 era. We're doing our countdown of the top uh, 100 games uh, that we played on the Commodore 64 era. So, without further ado, let's get into a little bit of Microprose Soccer. Okay, so we are going to enter a World Cup tournament. Before I do that, let me just hit the control panel, guys. I've turned the in-game music off because it drives me nuts when you're playing. Uh, and also, I've turned the replays off. Now, I used to love the replays, but they do take a long time, especially if you get a good lead in a game. So, they are off. We're going to hit a World Cup tournament. We're going to be player one. We are going to play as Italy. Yes, I am a Aussie man. Um, but from Italian heritage and used to, I suppose, back then, always play as Italy. So just recreating the past. Uh, and so we will start a new tournament as Italy. And we are up. The first round, first game of the World Cup is Hungary versus Italy. Who else is in our pool? We have Mexico, Hungary and Cameroon in our pool. Let's get into straight into our game. Been <laughs> been 20 years, maybe 30 since I played this. So this is going to be fun. Let's see if I can find my way back on the controls and win a World Cup in Micropro Soccer. Okay, now. From my memory of this game, the aim is to kind of hit it on an angle like that to score a goal, and Italy gets the first goal of the World Cup. So the aim was always just to kick that ball a little bit ahead of you so they can't tackle you, and then hit the ball on an angle. Ooh, a bit too hard on the angle there. Not enough angle. Just got to defend this ball in now. No. Oh, he's hit the post. What a save from the keeper. Keep us in the lead. Oh, I'm trying to... All right, here we go. Let's get on a roll. Let's get this ball down the line. Oh, I've taken it out of bounds. Not as easy as what I remembered. Great start, but uh, here we go. We're on. We're on here. Yes, we've got a two-goal lead. It'd be a good start for us if we can take a win out of the first uh, game. So here we are, half time. Entering the second half of our first game of the round. Oh, and we've got some rain, and I used to love this, watching players slide around. Get all crazy. It's actually really hard to score in the rain because players just go nuts. We've managed to get on the right angle there. Get ourselves a three-goal lead. We should be safe in this game now. Barring anything silly happening. And oh, well... Maybe I'll speak too soon. The score is now 3-1. Hungary has got a goal back. And the rain has gone. I'm trying to work my way around these players. The tackling is intense in this game. We're on the angle. 
Oh, our goalkeeper's made a good save against this. Just got to make sure that I can defend this now. I'll get the ball out long. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. Made a tackle just in time. Work our way around this player. That's it. Now we're safe. We will win our first game. Oh, I'm trying to have a little shot at the end, but that didn't play out. But Italy wins its first game, 3-1 against Hungary. To go to the top of the table. Australia versus Holland, 5-1, Holland. Denmark versus Brazil, Denmark 2, Brazil 1. Oh, first upset of the World Cup. Day 3, Mexico, Cameroon, Mexico 5, Cameroon 0. France 4, Ireland 1. Japan and USSR in a one-all draw. England versus West Germany, a two-all draw. Oman versus Northern Ireland, Northern Ireland taking out a 2-0 victory. And Poland beating Chile, 5-2. Wales versus Algeria, Wales 3, Algeria 0. Argentina beating Spain. And Sweden beating Canada. Now, on to our second game. This is the top of the table clash between Italy and Mexico. Mexico's away kit white, Italy's home kit of blue. Mexico will no doubt provide much more of a challenge than what Hungary did. So, and you can just see, well, I got my joystick got a bit sticky there. Uh, what you can see is that, oh no, oh no, get myself out of there. What am I doing? As the players uh, are better, I guess the level of tackling intensifies. It's not as easy to walk, go around a player. Um, much harder, so you have to do a lot more kicking to get your way through rather than just walking the ball. Oh, we could have caught the goalkeeper off there, but some great saves. That's also the other thing. The keeper is much better positioned, playing against the better teams, and just got sticky buttons again. As you can see, trying to walk it just isn't happening for us. Oh, no. We've managed to save that. Can we save a second and a third? Jeez, we've been lucky there against Mexico. We've managed to keep it to a nil-nil draw at halftime. What can we do in the second half? Oh, that was so close to being the right shot for a goal there. I have to try this again. Oh, and make sure that we defend well is kind of probably one of the hardest things that we're going to have to do here is just make sure that we defend so that we don't concede and give ourselves an opportunity to score a goal. And we've done it! Italy hits the lead! 1-0 against Mexico. It would be fantastic to get a second goal if we could do that to tie up the game and guarantee us a spot in the second round of the World Cup. Oh no, we've just kind of lost the plot there a little bit. Let's get the ball out. Yep, have a nice kick down, do it again. One more, no. Okay, I think we may have done enough to secure a victory at least and hopefully... Oh, here we go. We've actually got a 2-0 victory against Mexico. Great result for Italy, winning against Mexico 2-0, which definitely puts us through to the second round. Cameroon versus Hungary, 3-2 to Cameroon. Holland versus France, clash of the Titans, 0-0 draw. Ireland against Australia, Ireland winning 3-1, Brazil against Oman, an 8-2 victory for Brazil. And Poland smashing Japan 7-2, wow. Germany against Wales, West Germany 5-1. Denmark beating Northern Ireland in a 3-2 thriller. The USSR taking out Chile 4-1. Next game, Algeria against England, England taking that out 3-0. Argentina beating Sweden 1-0. And Spain beating Canada, 2-1. Ireland now play Holland. 
and it's 2-0 to Holland. France versus Australia, France winning that one, 1-0. One so, comes down to this for us now. Mexico play Hungary. We are pretty much guaranteed a spot regardless of the other result. So we will enjoy this versus Cameroon as almost a bit of a practice run for the second round of the World Cup. Trying to get this balance right and finding this angle into goal right. That's where I found was the most successful way to score. Was by going in at an angle. This might be the perfect angle for us to score our first goal. And it is. Italy takes the lead. 1-0 against Cameroon. In the comments below, guys, share with us your experiences of this game and any other of your classic Commodore 64 series. What games would you like to see more of? What do you want to see us do as part of our top 100? Commodore 64 games, the best games of the era. What were the games you lost hours on as a kid? All right, Cameroon, we are belting now. We are 3-0 ahead of Cameroon. Certainly a one of the easier teams in the game to play against. So we would expect to be about uh, this far up at half time. We've got rain. Rain causes havoc in this game. Oh, and we've Managed to make a nice tackle and shot on goal. Turning out to be our best game so far of the tournament. Oh. Aside from all the... Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, and was using my defender instead of my goalkeeper there. And Cameroon's got one back, so it's 4-1. A good save from the goalkeeper there. So, very hard to obviously control when in the rain. Lots of uh, just splashing around the tackling. If it stays for the rest of the half, I can... going to be difficult to uh, score another one. But here's an opportunity. We've managed to. Got that four-goal lead back. Italy 5-1. Oh, it's just sliding all over the place. And the game is done. So that is the first round over, and Italy goes through to the second round. Let's see what happens between Mexico and Hungary. Hungary beats Mexico and knocks Mexico out of the world. I oh, know Mexico still finished second. Ah, based on goal difference. Isn't that amazing? So Italy in Group A goes top. Uh, group B will be interesting to see because I believe maybe we'll play Group B second place and West Germany or England are both cracking teams so that's going to be difficult Germany beats Algeria Wales beats England that's interesting Chile beats Japan so Wales finishes second in Group B and knocks out England there's a shock of a tournament already USSR beats Poland Brazil beats Northern Ireland and Denmark beats Oman Canada versus Argentina. Argentina take out a big 4-0 win. Sweden take out Spain 4-1. And that's the end of round one. So as it stands, Group A, Italy and Mexico go through. Group B, Wales and Germany go through. Group C, Holland and France. Group D, Denmark and Brazil going through second. Group E, Argentina and Spain, Sweden. Argentina, Sweden, Spain misses out. And then in Group F, it's the USSR and Poland that go through. Let's see what the second round now looks like. So, the second round, West Germany face England, Holland play Hungary. We, Italy, face Northern Ireland. Let's see the results of these games. West Germany beat England 5-2. Holland beat Hungary 3-1. And now it is our turn. Italy, can we make it through to the quarterfinal of the World Cup versus Northern Ireland?
That's a great start. Great start. Five seconds in and a 1-0 result. We've got rain again, which is going to cause a little bit of havoc. Got to be careful here. I prefer to go sideways if I can on the tackle. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I need to get this ball out of here. Need to get this ball out of here, and Northern Ireland have secured an equaliser. Oh, dear me. This rain is going to cost us. Big kick out from the keeper. Can we get ourselves back into the lead? Taking a good angle there, but the keeper was well placed to save. Big tackle, but... Again, because of the weather, it's kind of causing us to slip and slide everywhere. Just need to ensure that we don't give up a goal. It's probably too late to go back and score one, so it's one all at half time. The rain has stopped, which should help us, hopefully, in this second half to get a result. Oh, and I've taken out the ball. Not a great start there. Okay, we win the ball back. Go long on the throw, and if I can pull out the ball here and get the right turning, no. Not quite. Okay, it's coming down to the wire here. We're in the last half of the second half. Where are my players? Desperately need a goal here. Can we do it? We've hit the right angle, but again, keeper well placed. This might be our last opportunity going forward if we can win the ball again. It is. Can we do this in the last 10 seconds? Oh, what a tackle. What a tackle. That was a game-saving tackle. And now we've got the goalkeeper out. He's going to save the ball. And the game's going to finish 1-1. We're going into golden goal, I think it is, by the look of it. And it is. I forgot what happens after full time. It is golden goal. Who scores wins? Oh, and keeper makes another save. Oh, wow. Oh, and until he's done it, it's in golden goal time. Wow! Well, that went to the wire, so we are through to the quarterfinals. Denmark versus Ireland. Denmark win 2-0. Mexico versus France. France take it out 3-1. USSR versus Sweden. USSR going through. Poland versus Wales. Wales take out the victory. And Argentina versus Brazil. What a cracking game that is. Brazil winning 3-1. 2-1, and it's the end of the second round. We go through to the quarterfinal now. And Italy plays Wales in the last game of the quarterfinals. So let's see this through. Denmark versus France. Denmark win. 2-1. Denmark through to a semi-final. And so is the USSR through to a semi-final. Brazil versus Holland. Oh, and Holland knock out Brazil. 1-0. Now we've got Italy versus Wales. Let's see if we can mark ourselves a spot in the semi-final. So much slipping and sliding in this game. Oh, we've managed to secure a round and this could be a good opportunity. What a save! What a save from the goalkeeper there. That was, I was sure that was going to be a goal. Okay, now we'll play our little game of... Oh, it didn't work. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, so lucky the ball hit the post. That was extremely lucky for us there. Okay, we come rolling through, and can we? Yes! Italy gets the first goal of the game. 1-0 versus Wales. OK, 
Okay, we've got an opportunity now. Again. Oh, too close. Not enough angle on it. Goalkeeper well placed. Oh, we just don't want Wales to score a goal from here. And we go into half time 1 0 up versus Wales. Can we hold the lead? Can we add to it? We'd lovely to add another goal if we could. And we have 2 0 to Italy. Nervous times here now to make the semi-final of the World Cup. We need to kind of move back a bit so the keeper moves back into his spot. Oh, I was just about to take a shot there. Oh, what a... That was a shot-saving opportunity there. Good save from the Wales keeper. Ball's gone out. Oh, whoops, and kicked the wrong way, but it works out to be a decent pass across here. And ball will go out for a corner. Oh, quick little hit out, but that didn't quite play off. Oh, it just hasn't quite worked. We have made it through. We will be facing someone which is likely to be, I believe, Holland, I think, in the in the final round. Oh, in the semi-final, sorry. So, Italy 2, Wales 0. I think it'll be Holland we'll be facing. Let's see how this works. Yes, so, semi-final of the World Cup. Denmark versus USSR, Holland versus Italy. And the USSR go through to the World Cup final. Can Italy make it against Holland? Well, this is going to be tough. Holland is one of the best teams in this game, so it's going to be a real challenge, I think. But... Oh, I nearly let the ball go in again. It is possible. If we could get our hands on the ball to start with, it might make it possible. At the moment, I can't even get our hands on the ball. No, and Holland have taken the lead. This is, I imagine, going to be desperation from us. This is hard. But having not played this game for so long, to take on the best teams is... Not going to be easy, and oh, now we've got rain, and that is not going to help us at all, and Holland get a second goal. Oh no, this is going to turn into, this is going to turn into a bit of a nightmare. Oh, what an embarrassment. Oh, dear me. Dear me, dear me, dear me. Oh, it's going to go 4 0. Wow. Oh, what a shock. What a. Whoops, sorry. I don't know what I did then. What a shock. Wow, 4 0 down at half time. This would take the absolute best from us to. Uh, be able to get back into this. It is really hard to even get the ball off these guys. At the moment, I've hardly touched the ball. We've saved one shot, and they've come back and hit the post, and then they've gone again, and we've saved it again, and it's come off the post again. <laughs> oh, Jesus, come off the post again, and thrown out. Why oh, talk about being under the pump. Oh, wow, Holland. What a team. I can't even lay a tackle. And again. What a way to end it. 5-0 down. What a way to go. Oh, well, plenty of training going to need to be had to beat these top teams. That is no doubt about it. If we want to, If we want to win a World Cup again... It's not happening this time around for Italy. We've made the semi-final. But have been absolutely annihilated in the semi-final. 
and won't be going through to the World Cup final with a massive 6-0 defeat. So who wins the World Cup final? And Holland wins. So the only thing that we can take from that is at least we lost to the champions. And that, so that concludes our video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed uh, seeing some of that gameplay from, uh, from MicroPro Soccer. Really, really enjoyed that, actually. That was good fun getting back into that. And we made the semi-final of, of a World Cup on our first try again. So uh, I thought that was a pretty good result, even though we got completely smashed by Holland. So, guys, what would you like to see next? What game is next that you would like to see us do from the Commodore 64 era? I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe, guys, and leave a comment for us if you enjoyed the content um, so that we can see more great Commodore 64 uh, games, the best games of the C64 era. Um, hope you enjoyed, guys. Have a fantastic day. We will be back again uh, for another game. Uh, in a couple of days' times. We will all see you then. Bye for now.